What's up you guys, how you doing today? So in today's video we're going to be talking about Human Torch Revenant as voted on by you guys on the Twitter poll. And uh, before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know that tonight is going to be a prime time. Warframe's having a prime time like they do every Thursday and they're going to be hosting us an hour before uh, prime time actually starts. And then we're going to wind up hosting them for prime time. I recommend all you guys get over there and get in on the prime time stream, at least if not my stream beforehand and uh what warframe's doing is they said they're giving out i believe 350 ducats um if you guys hang out at prime time tonight at 7 p.m eastern standard time or like new york florida time and basically what they're saying is that because tomorrow on pc is borrow's 100th uh time i guess coming around on pc there's supposed to be a special item or something um and that's what the ducats are supposed to help us for i'm pretty excited for what this is for like a hundredth time um, and, uh, definitely, definitely, if you guys have not already, go to Warframe's, uh, website, log into your Warframe account, and, and the top right corner is going to be something called Manage Account. You guys want to link your Twitch account to your Warframe account so that when you guys are watching the dev stream tonight, you guys are actually going to get credit for being there, and you'll get 350 ducats added to your, uh, I guess Warframe account. Uh, this is going to be pretty cool, actually. Um, I'm pretty excited for this. And um, side note, for those of you guys that have, let's say, Amazon Prime, you can link your Twitch Prime to your Amazon Prime. Um, and what that'll, or you, you could link your Twitch to your Amazon Prime, and that'll in turn get you Twitch Prime. And you guys will have a free sub every single month that actually you guys could use to support casters like myself or any other broadcasters on Twitch. Um, and you'll wind up getting like access to all the emotes that they have unlocked and everything. We currently have 24 emotes, and you guys love them a lot. And I'm glad because, you know. You're the ones that use them more than anything. We got a couple of emotes that are actually uh, Warframe related emotes. You guys can get a Clem emote, uh, which is probably the most popular character in the game. Uh, arguably, Clem is the most popular character in Warframe. And uh, and then we have a cheerleader Nova emote, um, which I love. I think it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, let's get into this Human Torch Revenant and all that stuff. And thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the, for, for all of you that have supported in the past with, the, with the, uh, the, the subs on Twitch and all of you that are continuing to support with the subs, you guys are the, are the world to me. I love your faces. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all this. Um, but again, let's get into Human Torch. So based off the pictures that we're looking at here, you guys can see that like this was really actually very difficult to kind of make him look like fire. And I don't necessarily want to sit here and say, yes, the colors are perfect, don't change any of the colors around, because if you can make him look more fire than I've, able to, than I've been able to accomplish with, uh, with all the color palettes in the game, definitely do it and tweet me. I would love to see the fire looks that you guys come up with, because this was really not the easiest thing in the world to, uh, to, to manage, to get to work out. Um, but what we're going to do is, I'm going to go into the appearance and walk you guys through everything. Everything that I'm going to show you guys is all copied main Warframe colors. So what we used here, primary color is that from the fire color palette. All these are going to be from the fire color palette, by the way. Um, so we have this orange right there. For the secondary, the tertiary is going to be that orange right there. The accent is going to be this orangey red right there. And then the energy is going to be like this orange right there. And for the most part, I wonder, should we make it more yellow? No, that, this is why it's so tough. It's like, ah, it just looks the, it looks like it just would work with whatever. I don't even know. All right, so here we have the Vanilla helmet for Revenant, which is like his alternative helmet. Um, we have the Revenant skin, which is the only skin you guys could choose. Revenant Noble animation set. The attachments that we have on here are the EOS Prime chest plate and the EOS Prime shoulder plates, which give it this, this like flowy energy look, which I think looks pretty awesome. I'm fairly certain that all these things you get from Borrow, um, he'll bring it around. Like, Borrow brings things around in rotation, so if you don't see it this time around, it'll be, you know, one of the other times that he comes around, but all of the stuff that Borrow brings is in rotation. Um, and then for the leg plates, we have the EDO knee plates, which I also think is Borrow. This has the flowy energy um, on him, and it looks really good. It really was the closest thing that I could get. There's another thing with flowy energy that I could have put on here, but it kind of like really pokes out the side of his leg and it doesn't really show from the front. So I think this kind of gave it more of like a, a fiery look and everything. Um, and it actually looks like I copied the colors a little bit differently. So this one looks like the only different color, uh, which is going to be this really dark one here from the fire color palette. Uh, okay, getting into the Cyandana, we got the Pyro Prime Cyandana that you guys can see right here. 
um, and I copied main Warframe colors for that. We have for the Regalia, the front sigil um, is going to be the Rift sigil. And this is the whole layout that I have right here for the Rift sigil. The primary color that we're using is going to be this like kind of orangey yellow from the Fire Color palette. And really, if you guys just kind of copy this look, you'll get this Rift sigil here that kind of has the, uh, I don't know, kind of gives it more of like a, there's just more motion on his chest, which is what I was looking for. It it's, uh, kind of gives it more of like a fiery appearance, like stuff's actually going on or burning on him. Um, and it works. I think it totally works. But let's get into the weapons now. So the Ignis, the Atomoths, and the Jakasar, because these are all fire weapons. And for the appearances, like I said, I just copied Warframe uh, colors for all of these. And that's basically what we're working with. There are other fire weapons that you guys could totally use. Like, let's say instead if you didn't want to whip, uh, you guys could totally go with... Uh, this one actually works really well here, the Silva and Aegis. Um, because this is like a fire shield and a fire sword. So if you guys like that better, you could totally use that. Um, sticking with the Jack Kassar though, because as you guys know, pole arms and whips have the longest range in the game. So they're actually a better choice. Um, uh, like as far as you being an efficient killer, you being able to take out more enemy enemies at a larger range makes you a much more efficient killer. So that's why we went with those, but let's go to earth. And let's go test out his abilities and stuff. Here we are in Earth, and so we're going to start off with using his abilities. So his first ability. Oh, bam! Totally, like, put some weird stuff on his head. It might look like he's got a little fire hat from a distance, maybe. That kind of looks like a wisp or something. I'm not entirely sure what that even is. Uh, it's like a revenant-looking thing, I guess, or a vombalist. I mean, he is like an Eidolon-related Warframe, so that's kind of cool. Um, but this guy don't look like he's gonna attack me. I wonder if I can kill him when he's... Yup! Oh, that was too easy. Okay. And obviously, we got our fire weapon here. Our Ignis Wraith is our number one. Let's use our second ability here. And... What did that look like? It kind of stunned him a little bit. But I believe if he hits me now, he's gonna hurt himself. Oh yeah, there we go. I like that. I really like the second ability. It's like, bro, I'm on fire. You don't got no, like, fire repellent gear or anything like that. How are you gonna act like you can just come and hurt me and stuff like that so he like it's weird he like falls asleep for a little bit and then i wonder if how did that guy it's like that guy put himself to sleep i wonder if it's a passive ability or something like when i get hit or whatever they like put themselves to sleep but yeah i don't even know actually let me, let's try and find out why are they going to sleep? either way it's mad cool and i like it um ability it's not telling me i'm a passive here oh here it is shield depletion smashes nearby enemies with a knockdown shockwave okay Alright, so, not what I thought it was. I'm not entirely sure why this is, like, doing that, but it's pretty cool either way. So, let's try our third ability here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh yeah, that one. So, this, I don't get this one, because look, look at his health, right? I'm gonna, right through him, and nothing. It didn't do anything. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing, I don't even, I don't even know what that thing's purpose is. I'm gonna have to read his abilities later. I, like, those of you guys that have been following a while, or maybe playing Warframe a while, I don't normally get to learn the new frames in the beginning. Uh, generally because what happens is, within the first week or two, everybody complains about the Warframe and then DE changes stuff about it. So, like, I try not to learn the Warframes when they first are, are like, new. And Reverend's not necessarily new anymore, but he's still the newest frame and I just haven't gotten around to him. Um, but we're learning now! And I do know he does this. His ultimate ability, did you guys know? that Revenant is actually a world-class uh, ballerina. So check this out. Look at these twirls. Look at these twirls. You can't twirl like that. I don't even care if they hung- I don't even care if you were holding onto a rope. You couldn't twirl this- this, uh, this is just- this is beautiful. Revenant has definitely invested a lot of time into the arts, and, uh, he is, uh, obviously put the time in to become the best, if not the greatest of all time, ballerina across all of this origin system so pretty uh pretty impressive right there um hey kubros you want to see some ballerina twirls look at that they were so amazed they just blacked out they're like i can't even my little kubro brain just can't even all right let's try so we've been using the ignis let's try the atomos the second uh secondary weapon that i have on here if only i could find some enemies to show this off to hey bud um Stop running. I want to show you my new fire gun. Don't worry. It's totally safe. 
for me. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got our fire look here out of this gun. We got the Ignis. I think the Ignis obviously does a much better fire look. Like, it's just like a torch. Like, this is just awesome. Obviously, it's a flamethrower and it kicks a lot of butt. So let's use our melee weapon now. We got our fire melee weapon. I like this. I like the, the whole setup and everything that we got going on here. I think this is a pretty cool loadout. Um, I definitely recommend that uh, you guys at least give it a whirl see how you like it yourselves. There's loads of weapons you could choose from that have, like, the fire look to it. Or maybe have like uh you know like like they have kind of like a fire element to them so these aren't your only options um and like i said earlier with the colors you guys could really work on changing this up a little bit if you you know want them to be maybe a little more red or a little more yellow or or whatever whatever it is that you want your uh, human torch to wind up looking like but that's basically it you guys like this is the human torch look it definitely was a little, it was, I have to say, it's definitely a difficult thing to put the Human Torch together with Revenant because it, it's just, the colors are so hard to get right, I think, when you're combining him. But if you tried from scratch, you kind of see what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's just kind of hard to get it right with making, like, a good Human Torch um, whose colors kind of, like, blend or bleed into each other and, and kind of complement and contrast at the same time. It's... It's definitely a little bit of work, but nonetheless, this is our Human Torch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and all that. Um, again, make sure you guys stop by the Twitch stream later, um, or at least stop by the uh, the prime time and get your ducats for, uh, for tomorrow's borrow if you guys are on PC. And even if you're on console, I'd say do it anyway, even if you're on console, because it's just extra ducats and that's more parts you can save for yourself. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Absolutely love your faces, and I will see you guys in the next one.